Obviously, you watched the press conference, 77 minutes of Thursday's press conference, and then he doubled down this morning with a new tweet just out. says, don't believe the mainstream fake news media. The White House is running very well. I inherited a mess and am in the process of fixing it. And there's also a second tweet as well. He had two out this morning. The other, he said, we'll be having many meetings this weekend at the Southern White House big 5 p.m. speech in Melbourne, Florida. A lot to talk yeah, about. He will certainly hit on that tonight in Florida, Geraldo. You know, that, that's fine, and I love the fact that he goes to these rallies or he will be in this campaign-style uh, mode. Uh, I think it re-energizes him. I'm not particularly sure that attacking the press is the right thing to do, though. I, I, you know, I just did a podcast about this. This reminds me most of the first term of Richard Nixon and Spiro Agnew. Uh, Agnew was the vice president, and he was designated as the media thumper. He, that's when they had the silent majority, and I think you could draw the parallels uh, to that right now. The, uh, Trump says he represents the core of America. Nixon was the silent majority. Uh, Agnew called the press the nattering nabobs of negativism. Uh, you know, Trump is saying it's fake news. It's a, there's a real parallel there, but I think that it, it, my main uh, my main point this morning, Abby, is that everybody's got to cool down. Uh, we've got a, a country that we all deeply care about, and uh, we have to get into a mode where but, there is but real you, you governance could, you going You can hit back on that, Geraldo, and say no one else is defending him. He's saying I've got to defend myself out there because ultimately it's about the American people. And you've seen the polling. We did a, a, a poll here at Fox News saying that more people actually trust President Trump than they do reporters today. I mean, that is the reality of where we are. I was at a cowboy bar last night, and there were, you know, it was a country, you know, obviously a country western music mm -hmm. playing, people wearing uh, T-shirts. I voted for Trump. It, it was a very defiant attitude. It was almost a, a militant attitude. And I said to myself, you know, uh, in another part of the country, in another town, it would be just the opposite. What's going on here? We're one country. Let's cool down. Donald Trump is the president. He's the 45th president of the United States. I don't think it does anybody any good but to have this rivalry, the real Americans versus the fake Americans, the real media versus the fake media. Where does that get us?